two seed for this competition. Zhang Zhike in decent enough form, but has had his shaky moments in this tournament. But the man at the far end, the world champion and two-time Olympic silver medalist Wang Hao, has looked the real deal. He's still got it, has been the uh, phrase that we've heard banded about. He certainly has. But again, up against a man that knows him so well from squad sessions, from training camps, sometimes mean that you get a match where the two players cancel themselves out, but I think we're going to see some fireworks in this one. Don't expect the rallies to be overly long, both men capable of such ferocious attacking that they'll be looking to finish the rally third, fourth, fifth ball. Great start. Confident start from Zhang. Something he hasn't done in previous matches. It's not where Wang Hao wants to be. Doesn't want to be forced away from the table like that. Zhang knows it, going in very quickly in these rallies so far and has got himself in first every time. Wang Nou is a wily competitor, perfectly prepared to adapt his style of play to suit the situation if he has to. Well, Zhang has got in early on every rally. He's moved Wang around. And for the first time in this entire tournament, Wang Hao, at the other end of the table, is looking a bit ordinary. And that's saying something. Zhang has put some serious pressure on him early doors. 5-2. That's more like it. Wang Hao this time gets him first and takes control. tried a little bit of uh, chop a little bit of side spin on that last one but drifted past the edge of the table I honestly don't think we'll see too many of those exchanges in this match most of it will be quite close to the table most of it will involve Zhang and Wang trying to get into control the rally first Zhang holding his ground on that last one. Jing Wang leaning backwards trying to hit the shots. from Wang Hao, big forehand. Oh, oh, and that's a good response. And there's the danger from Zhang's point of view. If he overuses his tactics, it won't take long for Wang to get used to them, start to read where those shots are going. Just brilliant. What a shame it finished on a bit of luck for Zhang. 
She certainly enjoyed it, and so did the crowd here in Magdeburg. That was just awesome. Bit of everything in there. And the final push just clips the very last millimetre of the table. Half apology, half celebration from Zhang. Wang, though, starting to play. Service error, that just goes to show the pressure that Zhang is under serving to Wang. Great opening first game. take long for Zhang to manoeuvre himself back in initially retreated from the table but then just came back with every smash took a step closer until he finally got into that one and how did he find that angle I mean he just put so much side spin on that it bananaed away from his opponent and Wang couldn't do anything about it brilliant just brilliant Big shot from Wang. Zhang was waiting for it right into the slot. Hit it off the bounce. Three set points. Fascinating stuff. Superb. Wang Hao determined to try and use the back end of this first game to unleash a few big shots, just make sure everything's still there, still in working order. And set himself up with at least a bit of momentum going into game two. And you never know, with the pressure removed, sometimes that works, sometimes you can level up the score. Not well, this time though. And 11-8, probably a game. 11 points to 8 in the end. But Wang Hao showing signs of getting some form together. Zhang, though, is hitting some quite exceptional shots. Just frightening. It's almost like a training match, the way he's unleashed a few of these. Wang is a danger that he's unlikely to go away during the course of this game. He's breathing a bit hard there, just giving himself a bit of time to uh, settle down. Again, a very tentative backhand defensive reply from Zhang. He's not as comfortable away from the table as some of the other players we've seen in action today. And a run of errors from Zhang allows Wang into this game. And uh, this is wild from Zhang after such an exquisite first point. Been very messy since then, nearly took Wang Hao's head off. They do sting when they hit you at that pace. has disappeared from this game. I'm sure Wang Hao is more than happy with that. He's diffused the situation. And 
and uh, Zhang has helped him. Uh, it's a danger here that Wang Hao is going to drift as well. Always tough when you're required to inject the pace into a rally. Much more opportunity for errors. Very, very good shots from Wang. And he's certainly giving Zhang Zhuke something to think about. Bit of food for thought in game two. Superb. Absolutely superb. Some stunning decisions from Wang in the middle of that rally. And he got himself back in towards the table, recovered nicely. And it was Zhang that once again hit wildly. The backhand exchange there. Zhang gets the better of that one. Flexibility in the wrist allowing the blade to be brushed up. The back of the ball generating all that spin. And these super slow mos are certainly showing us how that happens. Two in a row then, quite enjoying these backhand to backhand exchanges, but uh, Wang Hao won't be, he's coming off second best on each occasion. Very defensive, keeping the ball very, very short. Zhang trying to claw his way back into this game. Far less expansive from Zhang. He really is being patient now, waiting for his opportunities. I think this is when we will see whether Wang Hao has a chance in this one. If Zhang plays it a little more passive and can dramatically reduce the error count, whether Wang can live with him. There's another one. Another error from Zhang. Forehand missed. Set point to Wang then. Just think he's feeling the pace here. Zhang Zhi is absolutely ripped. He's in incredible shape. Don't think he will be at all concerned about the physicality of this particular match. Just wonder how long Wang can keep up this pace. He's got it. <laughs> and the celebration just one game apiece in this race to four at the 2010 Lieber Men's Table Tennis World Cup. Could have been all sorts of different finals at the start of the quarterfinal stage yesterday.
any number of games could have gone a different way, but in the end, Zhang managed to hang in there. And really, it was only Wang that breezed through both quarter-final and semi-final stages and should be relatively fresh coming into this final. <laughs> Zhang that has had the battles, but seems very settled out there against Wang. In fact, both players look pretty settled. They've, they've gone straight into their routine. They know each other's game so well. As long as Wang Hao can hold his ground and not be forced too far away from the table. He's managing to get enough pace into those forehands to trouble Zhang. It's great stuff, isn't it? Very cagey. Slow hand clap from the fans. Maybe just the indication that the pace here has changed as both players just seem to be taking a breather and that may have disturbed Zhang's concentration there. Wang takes a 4-3 lead in game three. Make it 5-3. And error upon error at the moment is making things very difficult for Zhang indeed. And it's not really the game that the crowd were looking for. They wanted to see, or they want to see, more of those rallies that they've been treated to. <laughs> rather than the cat and mouse backhands. I think we'll see some more of it, but maybe not for the moment. Both players just trying to find a, a foothold once again in this match. And Wang Hao's accuracy and placement is really superb. It is causing Wang all sorts of problems here. Not to mention the Wang Hao serve, of course. Yeah, just unlucky there, but Zhang get enough, got enough pressure on. the right time of year but someone's lit the uh, blue touch paper once again and once again it's Zhang with that curling forehand smash from right to left that does the job scores level
could serve. We did have Wang on the back foot from the off. Neither man wanted to rush into a situation here that would see points frittered away. Both taking their time before each service. Another good serve. The return just gave Zhang enough of an opening for him to attack. Marginal at this level, but uh, it was something that he could work with at least. 9-7. That's a great flick return. Took it with the backhand on the forehand side of the table. Three set points. Oh, and that was wide open. Zhang kicking himself there because that one was there for the taking. Couldn't get it onto the table though, so still got two set points in the bag. Wang Hao once again finding that it's time to towel down. Just have to watch himself a little bit. Umpire's keeping a close eye on this. And an impetuous attempt from Zhang. Maybe just a touch of frustration there creeping in after that last miss. It's another mistake though, and only one point in hand now. Beautiful attempt to stay in it from Zhang. But Wang Ha rides his luck for 10 all. He's a bullish character, isn't he? The world champion. And this run of points now, or should I say, run of misses from Zhang. It's going to cost him dear, I think. Wang Hao has put some pressure on, but that's all he's had to do. Oh! Dear me. How quick. An edge to start. So, Zhang getting a bit of luck. Positive start from Zhang. He will be tremendously disappointed about the way things went in the last game. Amazing the way these two have varied the pace of this whole match, both during the rallies and between the points. And this is very similar to the way Zhang started the match. A battering ram, which... Wang Hao is finding difficult to resist.
crowd a little bit bemused by all of this, but I'm sure they're fascinated by the way these two are pacing around. Playing the point until they're ready, and in all honesty, Zhang should have been away and clear in this match. Really don't think Wang has done enough to deserve 2 1. And that's the problem when you're playing against a senior player in the team, when you're playing against a legend. Mentally, it's sometimes very difficult to approach the situation. And I think that's what Zhang GK has found. Again, those little frustrations creeping in for Zhang. Wang Hao using every trick in the book here to try and tie his younger opponent up. And he knows if he lets him get a free swing at the ball, he's going to put pressure on him. Wang is moving things around very nicely indeed. And now with service, might be able to just level things up here. Really good block from Wang. His coach up in the stands, not down by the players, which is why we probably won't see any timeouts. And if we do, it'll be later in the in the game. Just letting the players get on with it. Not too much for one there. That's a great point from Zhang, but the concern for Zhang is that he still seems to be losing these runs of points. more and more like to a piece here if Shane can keep it together. Great shot. Wang running around onto the forehand and creating some space. Saw him do that to Timo Boll a few times in this morning's semi-final.
Again, the errors creeping in. Every time Zhang gets to a point where he'll be hoping to finish things off, Wang pulls it all back. And it has to be said, Zhang is handing over far too many points for... It's almost as if he doesn't want to get into a controlled rally with Wang Hao, fearful of what he'll do to him from that position. And he is just going for some big shots rather than let that happen. But too many of those big shots have gone astray. And it's Wang serve. And he once again just breezes past. Set point. That is incredible. That is incredible. Third time. And remember, he's one of the only men to ever defend his World Cup title, 2007-2008. And now, brimming with confidence, the danger here for Zhang is that Wang Ha makes a good start to this game and makes it all too easy. That's a better shot from Zhang. But those are the risks that he feels he has to take in this match. He started it so, so confidently. He really did look brilliant for the first phase. Then Wang Hao came to life halfway through the first game and you thought, OK, we've got a game on here. And Zhang has to stay positive, has to stay in that sort of attacking frame of mind now for the whole game, for the whole of the rest of this match. But for some reason, two, three points up in each game. He's then backing off, making errors, missing shots. Beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. No answers to that from Wang Hao. And uh, that was probably worth going for, actually. Good serve from Wang, but Zhang was there, got a, a racket on it. Just couldn't quite get the pace and line just right. That's better. Two, Zhang once again with the advantage, but he's had the advantage in all but the second game. And gone on to lose two out of three. Just unbelievable. Two blocks from Wang in the middle of that rally. Uh, from rocket quick smashes and then Wang managed to get something on it himself and Zhang left shaking his head wondering what he's got to do well he's got to stop making mistakes is what he's got to do and although they are forced errors there are too many of them he doesn't seem willing to trade that one more shot with Wang. Trying to terminate the rally himself every time. Beautiful hit. What a backhand from Wang. And there's confirmation that despite the man being a pen hold player, Kand. Wow. That went like a rocket. Timeout called by Zhang, no coach to go to. So uh, has to be alone with his thoughts. Chinese coach has positioned himself around about the net zone in the crowd. 
and uh, just time to leave the guys to get on with it. good. Shang getting in very quickly there and just managing to cut off any plans that Wang had for that rally. But it's a very high risk game that Zhang is having to play. Once again both players pacing around. Oh went for the flick missed it. the service well enough just couldn't quite finish the action Zhang back in the lead 6-5 brilliant rally again and that forehand that was so good for Zhang in the first three games has just deserted him now he was tucking it in on the left-hand side of the table, really close to the net, but a bit off more than he could chew on that occasion for six all. Brilliant. That's just superb. Wang Hao in control of the rally as soon as the, the power shots opened up. Squared himself up for the big hit and then delivered. Moves back into the lead. And with the serve, that was quick. That was very quick, but he's missed the table. 7-0. And some of those shots that We've been used to seeing Wang Hao execute over his years of domination in the sport. Just not quite there on that occasion. Once again, brilliant defence from Wang Hao. And uh, he's marching ever closer to a third World Cup title. Got enough control on that one, didn't he? Oh, he's done it again. How does he do it? Now, questions could be raised over the last couple of games about Wang Hao's taking the games and Zhang's mistakes compiling but on that occasion that was just genius from Wang Hao to stay in the rally that's what this German crowd have come to see those exchanges always oh, missed it again really fancied that one ball came back into the slot for the backhand But instead of hitting the table, hit the ball straight onto the foot of Zhang. One more serve then for Wang. He would have wanted to finish it with two serves here. That's, that's fantastic. Just the change of direction. Really tough to hit those shots inside to out. And with a penhold grip on that reverse backhand. The flexibility, just look at this on the slow-mo. 
Wonderful. And World Cup points arrive for Wang Hao. Two of them. The crowd know it. But it is Zhang's serve. How much of a risk will Wang Hao take? Is he going to have a go at one of these? He does. Oh, and he does it brilliantly, but Zhang is equal to it. Wow, what a rally. Is this going to be a comeback from the youngster? Nearly a slip from Wang Hao, but he stayed with it and then couldn't quite wrap the bat around that next one. Still, World Cup point to Wang Hao. Decides to go for it again, and this time it pays off. Zhang hits long, and Wang Hao, the world champion, came to this tournament with all sorts of questions being raised by the press about his ability at this level.